Hi, I'm Lou, and today I'm going to show you how to tune a chainsaw. The carburetor sits behind the air filter. Let's pull it out for a closer look. On the front side, there's our choke and our throttles on the back side. The idle screw, which is labeled with an I or sometimes LA, it's simply a mechanical stop to hold your butterfly open a little bit to get the idle you want. The low jet determines how much fuel it's getting at idle, and the high jet determines how much fuel it's getting at wide open throttle. If your labels are worn off, your low jet is always closer to the engine. Idle, high, and low. Some people tune by ear and some people tune by tack. I'll do a little bit of both, and I'll put a link to this tack in the video description. This just needs to clip onto the spark plug wire, and I found the best place to do it is right in here. If you're using a tack, Google your saw specs. We'll follow these guidelines to start. Gently tighten low until it seats, and then wind it back one full turn. Now fully seat your high jet and wind that back three quarters of a turn. The idle speed is not all that important and you can set it by ear, but we're gonna set it to the spec 2800. <laughs> These jump around a bunch, but I got it in the ballpark. To set the low jet, we twist clockwise until it almost dies. Note that point, and then go back to the center. Turn counterclockwise until it almost dies. Note that point, and then we set a point right about the center. So we killed it at three quarter turn clockwise. Now let's go back to center and find the other side. So we had three quarter turn this way to kill, one full turn this way to kill. You subtract the two and get one quarter, divide that by two, which means we need to turn this about an eighth that way. Well, let's try it. Also, it should have excellent trigger response and we'll try that. Perfect. The high jet sets how much fuel you're getting at wide open throttle, which is where you usually are when you're cutting wood. One thing a lot of people don't realize, and unfortunately I speak from experience, if this thing is too tight this way, you can actually melt down your saw. A piston should look like that, but when it overheats, it starts to melt like that, and it eventually ends up like this. My saw is spec to max out at 14,000 RPM, but playing it safe, I'm gonna set it to 13,000. You'll never hurt your saw going under max RPM. <laughs> At wide open throttle, I was hitting about 14,000 RPM, so I'm going to go back about a quarter turn and see where we are. Getting close, let's take off another eighth. Okay, I'm happy with that. If you're not using a tachometer, there are two sounds you need to listen for, and they both happen at wide open throttle. One sound is roar and one sound is flutter. Roar is kind of like this, kind of a clean sound, and flutter is more like this. It has a garble to it and it often is referred to as four stroking because it sounds like a four stroke motor. Roar and flutter are extremely easy to distinguish in real life, but they're kind of hard to get through on a video, but we'll do our best. <laughs> is a very smooth sound and flutter is kind of bouncy. When you're at wide open throttle and you're not cutting wood, your saw should flutter, not roar. It should only roar when you're in the wood. To adjust your high jet by ear, you wanna turn it clockwise until you get roar at wide open throttle and then back it off about an eighth of a turn. I did that for my roar and flutter demonstrations, but I'm not gonna do it again because roar on the bench can ruin your saw. So I set my saw to flutter on the bench, but let's see if we can get it to roar in the wood. Now you know two ways to tune a saw. The idle and low jet are not all that important, but the high jet is a killer if you do it wrong. So the big question is, should you use tachometer or sound? I think the answer is both. Look up your saw specs and make darn sure you're at or below your high RPM. 
but also train yourself to listen for roar and flutter. If you're out on the job and you don't have a tack, every few days pull it to wide open throttle and make sure you're getting flutter out of the wood. If not, you need to get it back on the bench, twist that H screw until you get your RPMs and flutter back. If you can't fix this by adjusting your H screw, you likely have a leak in your saw and I have a video over there that shows you how to test for that. Hopefully this information has been helpful and good luck tuning your saw. If you need more help, there's a lot of great people in the Chainsaw Repair Group on Facebook. Thanks for watching! Thank you.